What's poppin' Star Nation? Mars here. Today we'll be doing something pretty special in this video. I'm going to teach you guys how to create the well-known annoying orange effect on CapCut. Preferably how the annoying orange videos are made. I want to give a shout out to a user named Toxneak, otherwise known as TN, for requesting me to make a tutorial after watching my latest video on the annoying orange effect. Also, before I start the video, I just want to apologize for not being on YouTube for a while. For one, I was too busy with real life stuff, and two, I've been busy making animations for my other channel called Monstar Animations, which, if you haven't yet, I strongly recommend checking out there. I've been posting really funny animation memes on there, and that led me to almost 500 subscribers in just a month after I started making videos on that channel. And one more thing, this tutorial is going to focus on CapCut. Whatever editor you use is also fine, but I wanted to make this video just right for those that want to get started on editing right away after watching this video. So if you want me to cover on another video editor you wish, I'll be glad and happy to do so right away. Ironically enough, this video is being made with CapCut. Anyways, enough of me blabbering, let's get on with the video. Here's how to create the annoying orange effect on CapCut. Before I teach you guys about the process of how the effect is done, I want to teach you guys about the history of the effect first. So here we go. For starters, it wasn't really an effect to begin with. In fact, it was just an animation technique. It had a different name for it as well. The name for this technique? is called Synchrovox. Synchrovox was invented in 1959 by animator and producer Edwin Gillett. It's a technique where live-action lips are superimposed onto a still image, making it appear as though the image is talking. This was a revolutionary method in early animation, providing a cost-effective way to animate characters. One of the first uses of Synchrovox was in a TV show called Clutch Cargo, which aired from 1959 to 1960. The show featured still drawings of characters with real human mouths talking, giving it a distinctive, though somewhat eerie look. The technique was also used in other shows like Space Angel and Captain Fathom. These shows utilized Synchrovox to bring their characters to life, without the need for full animation saving both time and money. In more recent years, the Synchrovox effect has been popularized by the Annoying Orange series on YouTube. This comedic show uses a technique to superimpose human mouths onto fruits, creating hilarious and engaging content. And there you have it, a quick history of the Synchrovox effect. From classic TV shows to modern YouTube hits, this technique has been a fun and creative way to animate characters. Now, I'm going to teach you how you can create a video with a Synchrovox effect. Let's go! For preparation for making videos using the Synchrovox effect, you may need a webcam to record yourself saying your character's lines. However, if you cannot afford a webcam at the moment, I have an alternative for you. It also requires your smartphone. I want you to go to this website called iRyun.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Here you have the option to download a webcam for Windows, Mac, and for Linux, and also gives you the ability to install the app using the Apple App Store for iPhone users and the Google Play Store for Android users. We're going to down you're going to if you're using Windows, uh, Mac or Ubuntu. Uh, simply click on these buttons and it will just download in your browser right away. You should also do the same for your Android phone or your iPhone. After you install the Irene webcam into your, into your computer, this is what its screen GUI would look like. It says on the top, uh, Irene webcam turns your phone into a wireless webcam and asks you to use your mobile's camera and your PC and Mac. And uh, once your phone is not connected to uh, the same internet as the PC, it will say no phone available. You have to ensure that uh, iRyun webcam is running on your 
mobile phone and the phone and the computer you're using are have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi otherwise it just won't work okay now that my phone is connected because uh, I recently installed this program on my phone and my computer now you can see my face and congratulations you just saved hundred and thirty dollars from getting an expensive webcam off of Amazon you also need another software called OBS studio go to obsproject.com and then install actually download OBS studio on any of the systems you have Windows Mac OS and Linux um, I'll also leave a link to obsproject.com in the description and finally you need an editor of your choice I recommend using CapCut for those that are just new to editing uh, simply go to CapCut.com and then head straight to download and you can do this on your phone as well uh, make Synchrovox videos on your phone as well but I recommend making Synchrovox videos on your computer you can also edit uh, the Synchrovox videos on the web version of CatCut but I recommend downloading the native project for Windows or Mac so you're going to download CatCut from this option as well I'll also leave the I'll also leave a link to CapCut in the description. Once you have installed all the required software, you're going to open up OBS Studio. And after you're done with the quick setup, it wouldn't really take that long. We'll just ask you a couple of questions here and there. And uh, once you're done with that, I want you to hover over to the plus sign in the Sources tab of OBS Studio's screen GUI. And now you're going to select Window Capture. Actually, no. You're going to click on Video Capture Device. As you see, it'll ask you to write a name for your source. I'll just leave mine as it is. Click on OK. And there you go. You should have your footage from your webcam. That means you see my face in this case. And uh, it says down here about your. Uh, webcam device such as my Irene webcam you can configure the video um, yeah that's pretty much it I'll leave mine exactly how it is right now and click on OK and my uh, face should pop up now if you want your face to appear larger or at least fit in the screen your OBS Studio's green GUI right click on your footage from your webcam hover over to transform in its little t in its little tab once you right click in right in the little menu once you right click the video and hover down till you see fit to screen you can stretch the screen but I recommend fit to screen it gives you like a clear image of the clear footage of your cap cut actually no, I'm sorry your um video footage and uh, you want your video footage to look so stretched out like that so you're going to um, click on fit the screen and your video footage fits the screen border perfectly now I want you to record yourself talking um, saying your uh, characters lines I'm gonna have to teach you uh, the basics on that like writing the script and Writing storyboards for your videos. More on that later. Uh, once you're done talking, uh, stop recording. Also, it's best recommended to zoom in your web camera. I do this by pinching my phone screen to um, get my face up close so you can stand really, really still while talking right now. Uh, you can also do this using the scroll wheel of your um, uh, webcam window and you should do that right away but I do it like pinch my screen and after that uh, stop recording yourself using the record button on OBS Studio don't use streaming because I don't know how to do the Synchrofox effect when streaming yet 
if I do figure it out, I'll, um, I'll actually, I'll actually make a tutorial on that. So stay tuned for that, guys. So stop recording, and then hover over to CapCut to edit your video footage. I'm going to record my video footage in just a second. But first, I'm going to teach you how to write a script and make a storyboard for your video. Let's go. A script and a storyboard is recommended for your videos because you need the idea of what you're going to say in your video and what your video wants to look like. I want you to first type in the script of your characters and um, make a storyboard on that. Let me give you a quick example of my script I just wrote. Okay, I lied. I didn't actually write that script. I asked ChatGPT to write script for me. <laughs> okay, guys, seriously, seriously. I really wouldn't recommend using ChatGPT to um, write scripts, but uh, I just want to give you guys just an idea, that's all. I, just don't use ChatGPT while um, using uh, writing scripts because they don't really feel creative. Well, mine is, but just saying. Anyway, uh, your, your your script doesn't have to look like mine because I don't like I don't like when people try to steal my videos. But um, yeah, your script make your script uh, not too familiar with Knowing Orange like how mine is, but uh, add your own feelings to it like add your own characters on it. Now, for the storyboard process, I really don't think that's necessary, especially now that you are just need a script and you're going to use, you know, certain images to, uh, make, to make your face appear on them, you know? So, yeah, I really don't think a storyboard is necessary for videos like this. We'll just jump straight to the making of the video. After you've written your script, you're going to need to pull up images of uh, people and objects to use as characters for your script. However, if you do have people and objects close to you, just take a picture of them and send them to your computer. Um, in my case, and for one of my characters, it, one of my characters is a tangerine, so I searched up Google for tangerine fruit. And I select a specific image to use to slap my face on. And I'm going to hover over to this image, right click it, and you should have the same menu again. And click on Save Image As. And this image is saved in your file in your computer as a PNG or JPEG file. Click on Save, and it should be saved in this specific directory on your computer. Be sure to find it when you're uh, using it. Once you found your image, now you're going to hover back to OBS Studio and be sure your video capture device is selected as the source. And now it's time for you to record yourself saying your character's lines. It's best recommended to memorize the lines for your characters. Uh, get them in your head like rehearse some a bit but if you want to take things the easy route I recommend like putting in like another tab right next to your OBS screen uh, OBS tab with this with where um your lines of the characters are are written here so you that way hey you can like read them over here just don't look in the so you, so you can just like read the lines from here just don't look at the that tab for too long need to maintain focus on your webcam as well. Anyways, I'll be recording my lines for the characters right now. As for me, I am Tanny the talking tangerine for this case, for my script. And now here are my lines. Hey everyone, welcome to Star Toons Kitchen. I am Tanny the talking tangerine, and today we are going to have some fruity fun. Let's see what my fruity friends are up to. <laughs> Don't slip up, banana. Just peel away your worries and keep your cool. You are one appealing fruit. 
<laughs> okay, that is kind of <laughs> that. That was kind. That was kind of not bad, even when I did it. Um. So yeah, just record characters. Record characters from from that point on. Oh yeah, and on a side note, um, you. I know you're probably thinking at this point, Mars. What about the other scenes? What about, uh, what about the case where another character needs to be voiced? Well, it's plain and simple. I recommend, uh, recording yourself with one scene where you gather all the lines for one specific character and then go on with the, and then stop recording yourself in that scene and record a new scene with another character's lines. Um, if you, if you want to hire, like, if you want to get, like, more people to voice the characters, then, uh, it's best recommended for that as well. But for this case, I'll be voicing both of the characters for my script. So, yeah, this is, like, the, uh, easiest way to make Synchrovox videos, like, be done a little bit quicker, you know? So, when you're done with that, just take my advice and... Um, just record, like I said, just record, uh, scenes of your character's lines, of one character's lines first, and do the same with another character's lines. All of them. And, yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna go to CapCut, and put all the scenes together. Okay, now that you're on CapCut, uh, this is what your interface should look like. You're going to click on the big, beautiful button that says Create Project. By the way, I don't mind these files. Um, click on Import your videos, audios, and images. And now select uh, your picture you're going to slap your face on. Like my tangerine here. And uh, select the videos you just recorded. For mine, it's uh, one of these uh, faces here. Hold on, let me try to find it. Okay, here it is. Uh, funny enough, I actually was recording that footage while making this video. So bear with me, guys. Um, I'm gonna get to a specific oh, point sure. where. I say the character's lines, the source, and now it's time for you to, as for me, I am Tanny the talking tangerine for this case, my script, and now here are my lines. Alright, here I am. Here is where I was voicing as Tanny. So I'm going to uh, gather here and um, make my image stretch out stretch out of about the exact about, about the exact length of my of my video footage <laughs> don't slip up banana just peel away your worries and keep your cool you are one appealing fruit <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Now that you selected your video and stretched out your image to match the exact same length as your video, go to uh, Adjustment tab for your video. Now you're gonna click on Curves. Stretch out your video for reference, like I'm doing right now. And you're going to match uh, your skin color to uh, the face of an image that you're going to slap on. Use, play around with the curves really. Like use the blue, green, red, and white lines to ensure what color best matches your photo. Once you've done so, um, you're going to duplicate your video footage 
for one purpose. Let me just go ahead and duplicate it by by copying and pasting it. Or you just use control C and control V to do that like I just did now. And uh let's zoom out this one a bit. Um you're gonna to go to a mask tab on the video section and I recommend using the circle or rectangle for your mouth. Let's use a rectangle for a mouth since sometimes that's better. Be sure that mask shape uh, cuts out, leaves behind uh, what needs to be, you know, masked for your face to slap on. like. Like for example, this mouth is gonna fit perfectly within a square. You can stretch it out if you like to match the height and width of your mouth. And to make sure it blends well with the image you're using, head over to feather and change the number from zero to three. And it should look like this. It should give. It should look uh, a bit softer. It should look softer like that. Getting the illusion that your video is going to. To give the illusion that your um. Photo. That your um face blends perfectly with the picture. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I'm a little lost right now, a little spaced out lately. Maybe because I'm tired. It's already late at night already, so I should be done with it quickly, I promise. Now that you're cut out your mouth, place it wherever you desire. Which is right here. And Everyone, welcome to Star Fall Tunes Kitchen. And there you go, your orange is talking. Now, if you want your, now if you want your um, prof, now you want your picture to move around uh, its eyes. You should also do the same with the with another footage I told you to duplicate. Head over to mask, click on a circle and stretch out the circle to match the height and width of your eye and hand over the feather and set it to 3 make it as big as you like oh there we go, my bad um, and there you go now you have one eye, but if you want to make it a little simpler Copy and paste. Um. Copy and paste these. Copy and paste the eye, and make it set to another location. Now, your uh picture has two eyes and one mouth. If you want your character to look like a monster or whatever, um, I wouldn't mind that as well. Like, if your character is a monster or some sort. And it needs like three eyes or just one. That's absolutely great. Give me a second while I just change change up my character a bit to ensure that it matches it almost perfectly. This is uh, required for that, by the way. You want your characters to look as realistic as realistic as possible. That also includes matching the lighting of your eyes and mouth with the lighting of an object of the picture. Hey everyone, welcome to Starfall Tunes Kitchen. I am Tanny the Talking Tangerine, and today we are going to have some fruity fun. Let's see what my fruity friends are up to. <laughs> Don't slip up, banana. Just peel away your worries and keep your cool. You are one appealing fruit. <laughs> okay, I need to record again. Alright, I apologize again for 
Um, going off, going off the keyboard for a second. I was just trying to fix the problem with my cool video. You are one appealing yeah, fruit. <laughs> Once you're done, you're uh, going to head over to export. Click on export. Hey everyone, and welcome to Star Full Tunes Kitchen. I recommend to change the export to destination to the file location. You will click on file and select the file location you, need to, you want it for it to um, save on your, on your computer. For instance, it's for my downloads. So I select the folder and ex export it from here. Now, do the same for another character you're going to use on your video. Now that you recorded clips of all the characters you um, recorded, create a brand new project and gather all your scenes. Drop them on your uh, CapCut. Hey everyone, uh, welcome Walking Tangerine, and today we are going to have some fruity fun. Let's see what my fruity friends are up to. And what you're going to do with the clips is that you're going to rearrange the timing of the clips. Uh, what I mean is that, what I mean about that is that you need to rearrange the scenes in an appropriate order that your script says. Uh, hey, Tanny, I've got a bit of a Peel problem here. Any advice? <laughs> Don't slip up, banana. Just peel away your worries and keep your cool. You're one appealing fruit. <laughs> Thanks, Tanny. You're the zest. <laughs> Thanks, Tanny. You're the zus. Now, if you want, you can change the pitch of your video, or at least change the pitch using the voice changer of your video. Hey, everyone! Welcome to Star Full Tunes Kitchen. I'm Tanny the Talking Tangerine, and today we are going to have some food. Fun. Let's see what my fruity friends are up to. <laughs> hey, don't slip up, Anna. Just play away your worries and keep your cool. You are uh, hey, Tanny. I've got a bit of a <laughs> problem here. Any of and just play around the timbre and the pitch of your voice. And, uh, yeah. And play on the audio, too, if it's too low. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like this one. I'm, I'm gonna change it. Yeah, uh, hey, Tanny. Got a bit of problem here. Friends are up too. <laughs> don't slip up, banana. Just peel away your worries and keep. And that, there you go. That's better. Now, uh, when you arrange your scenes, um, you need to place them in an appropriate place. Like, if a character says something else, when another character says something else, place that scene here. For instance, um, in my video, rather Tangerine, after Tanny said, uh, let's see what our fruity friends are up to, uh, this banana, this banana appears as he talks and gives a question and then he advised about the Peely problem and then uh, Tanny answers the banana with the joke One appealing fruit <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Tanny, you're the zest
Now, gather hey everyone, all the welcome to Star Tunes Kitchen. And I am Tanny the Talking the Tangerine, and today we are going to have. And head on over to export and export the final video. And we're going to roll the final hey result everyone. of the video just welcome a second. To Let me stop recording. And here's the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Starfall Tunes Kitchen. I am Tanny the Talking Tangerine, and today we are going to have some fruity fun. Let's see what my fruity friends are up to. Uh, hey Tanny, I've got a bit of a peel problem here. Any advice? <laughs> Don't slip up, Banana. Just peel away your worries and keep your cool. You are one appealing fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tanny. You're the zest. And there you have it. That's how you make videos using the Synchrofox effect. You can make literally hundreds of these videos like right now. That's how easy it is to make these videos with CapCut. I highly recommend using CapCut for this once again because it's super user friendly, especially for those that want to get started on editing right away. Also, I'm sorry that I made a video like over 30 minutes long. I just want to give the best tutorial on how to create that effect like out there on YouTube like as best as possible. And if I did miss some aspects, I deeply apologize for that. I'll cover I'll cover them up using the comment section of this video. I'll once again uh, share links to the required software on the description of this video. And that's about it guys. Oh also, here's one thing to consider. You should really, really be careful when trying to use a Synchrovox effect, especially if you're going to use it to make a web series a lot like Annoying Orange. If you do select characters that directly mocks or look very identical to Annoying Orange, then I'm afraid the creators of Annoying Orange, including Dame Bo himself, can sue you. So just be mindful of that. If I, if I were you, I would just draw cartoon characters of, draw your own characters and make them display mouths on that, you know? Be original. Like that one Gumball episode where he sung about being original. That's about it, guys. I once again apologize for making the video a bit too long. I just want to make the video a, the best it could be for teaching how to cre recreate that uh, effect that's widely used for Annoying Orange. But that's about it. If you followed all the instructions correctly, you should get videos a lot like my final result of my video. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video motivated you guys on making the videos right away. If it did, great! Share me some of your creations, I'll love to see them. Share me as links, share it to me as links to the videos you just made using Synchrovox Effect in the comment section of this video. I'd love to see them and laugh at them. <laughs> and uh, I once again apologize for making this video long. If you guys want me to cover on another editor, feel free to uh, chat with me in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Uh, sorry again for not making uh, myself available on YouTube as often as before to those who previously subscribed to me. I was too busy with personal stuff, but I'll try to post stuff on YouTube as soon as I can. Remember, if you guys have any issues regarding on making the Synchro Box effect on uh, your videos you're trying to make, feel free to chat with me. Use in the comment section of this video. And that's about it. Thanks again for watching. And as always, have a nice day, Star Kids.